edition of Inside Cloud Imperium Games. Uh, this is where we take you behind the scenes to the various studios working on Star Citizen and sort of show you a little more in depth of uh, the technology we're working on, the art, the concepts we're working on, and show you how we're putting together this uh, incredibly ambitious game. Uh, so today we've got a bit of a treat. We're gonna go uh, up to, uh, I would like to say sunny Montreal, but at this time of year it's uh, a bit chilly, uh, where Behaviour is working uh, most, you know, on the planet side uh, aspects of Star Citizen. So I'm gonna pass you over to uh, Sandy who is up in Montreal right now and uh, she'll tell you more about it. Salut, je suis Sandy, je suis présentement à Montréal chez Behaviour pour rencontrer l'équipe qui travaille sur l'Astéroïde Hangar. Dave Richard, lead game designer. Stefan Horvath, level designer. Philip Ivanovich, tech lead artist. Corentin Chevan, art director. Stefan Beauchamp, lead programmer. Guys, you brought some calm weather for me <laughs> <laughs> this morning. Oh my gosh, walking here was freezing. So is this exciting for you guys? I and mean, it's a different project from what you guys have been working on before. Yeah, it's incredible. We're creating a whole universe, which is in a way super cool, in a way super worrisome in terms that we need to create a lot of assets to actually create those, uh, those living worlds. Yeah. The main focus right now is what we are calling the room system. And the room system is going to be the foundation of all the uh, locations on the that different planets you can land and it will also be used on even bigger ships or space stations. Uh, at Behaviour, we've been tasked with uh, the goal of creating the room system, which basically consists of uh, an easy way for our designers and artists to create various um, assets and to be able to reuse them throughout either the hangar, planet-side locations, or uh, even spaceships for say. What's great about the room system is that we'll be able to expand it not only to hangars but also to planet side. So we'll be able to create dynamic location like shops that uh, change on the fly based on the economy. Even though CryEngine is a really powerful engine, uh, Star Citizen has been pushing its content creation pipeline to its limits, requiring us to add new systems to help us remix and reuse our uh, modular assets. To do that, we've been using uh, a a system called the seed system, which allows designers to create basically a group of objects, but be able to change a subset of these objects easily without having to recreate basically copies all over the world of these objects. It's really cool uh, with the prefabs that um, we can start with something that's very gray box, um, that has no texture, uh, that just um, gives the idea of a shape. And um, with the prefabs, all Phil would need to do is go into uh, the engine and replace um, those shapes uh, with the shapes that he would like. So this core tech is going to be used for the hangars and then also other areas like shops or bars or other locations on the uh, planet side locations and the other bigger sort of spaceship locations. So it's a completely new tech that we're building from the ground up. And the first application of the room system is the asteroid hangar which is uh, the hangar for the people that uh, don't really want to be in the sort of the, uh, I would say, the safer areas of space or the more legitimate areas of space. So, the asteroid hangar. What is the asteroid hangar? So it's a, it's a hangar that will be found on some of the Eero location uh, that we're building. So uh, mostly lawless space. Uh, they're, they're built so that they, they're really small and they feel like you can, you can hide there, basically, as a pirate or not. Okay. La première chose qu'on a faite euh, ici avant de commencer à, à même faire des concepts, c'est euh, de bloquer les, les choses euh, en 3D, juste pour avoir une bonne idée de la taille des pièces, puis comment elles allaient s'imbriquer les unes par rapport aux autres. I'm, I'm pretty sure like Caterpillar and Constellation are currently the, the biggest we can fit, yeah. um, but then there's still you know much bigger ships out there. So it's also something that we need, needed to think about when uh, designing the, the expansion. So at some point when the player will be able to you know, expand, uh, he will be able to choose the type of room he needs for the type of ships he want to uh, fit in. And we have to keep going back and forth because the size of the caterpillar is quite large as he's mentioned. And we have to take into account extra size on each side of the caterpillar as it takes off. Um, maybe not necessarily um, every takeoff would be smooth, so your ship might move side to side, and we wanted to avoid uh, making the player go through this tiny rabbit hole 
um, and crash inside his hangar or something. Yeah, we, we kind of <laughs> don't want the player to die in his own hangar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Um, so the first step was to block out a general idea of what sizes we wanted. So we wanted to have like a stock hangar where you'd start and you'd have your first ship. Um, and then we would add on as an extensions the larger pieces as they continue on. And as they follow the contour of the asteroid hangar, um, we wanted to have something that, that really did feel organic in terms of, uh, and, and like biological, when you look at uh, the asteroid hangar itself and where it comes from and, and, and how it was placed. So it didn't just feel like it just appeared there. With this all in mind, we wanted to keep uh, the idea that we wanted to add on like room extensions, hangar customization to, to the max to allow the players to really make this feel like uh, their own um, home, like housing for their ship. That's essentially what that is. So when you look at the asteroid hangar now, in terms of this, this is the stock hangar where we wanted to have, as you see here, a cutlass. You have uh, your command center and you have a, 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 the, the ceiling door, which would actually open up and you'd basically fly in from outside your asteroid hangar. You'd fly through it and then you'd land inside this asteroid hangar. We want to make this as cool as possible for everybody that, that's involved. From this point, you're going to be able to, to, to expand yourself. You're going to go up to these nubs and um, basically use your Moby Glass and you're going to allow it to um, make a new uh, expansion. So you're going to add on a new ship, a new section. What that will also uh, allow would be a new room expansion, which I'm talking about specialty rooms specifically. So um, what you've seen so far is a shooting range and um, a, a course, I guess, a trick course, where you can use the buggy and you can jump through hoops and whatnot. So when you go in your hangar, you will find some uh, special spot. So basically at that point, just like with the ships, but for your anger. And using the Moby Glass, you'll be able to access the anger service. And in augmented reality, you'll be able to access that point, uh, look for the rooms you want to add, buy it, install it, and then there's going to be a construction time. So you can get out at this point, go with your ship in space, and at some point you'll get a notice on your Moby Glass saying, hey, your anger space is ready. And then you'll be able to go in and, and check your new space out. When we speak about asteroid, we obviously invoke the idea of rocks. And for the rocks, we did a lot of research because we had to find the perfect balance in between simplicity and complexity. The rocks need to breed well and needs to uh, have a nice silhouette. To unify all this organic and natural rocks with all the côté uh, platform, very rectiligne, metallic, that was made by humans, on a, on est venu briser un petit peu le, le, le côté euh, structure manufacturée avec euh, des plaques de travers, des câbles, des flaques d'huile et tout ça pour donner quelque chose de plus organique pour tout le côté euh, fait par l'homme et tout le côté euh, rocailleux dans le fond on a essayé de le, le rendre un petit peu plus rigide euh, pour baisser justement ce contraste entre ces deux, euh, ces deux parties importantes du, de, de l'astéroïde hangar. So for the uh, control room, we can see that it's a bit messy, cluster. We wanted that feeling of a real anger, like uh, people are working, so it, there's oil, there's wires, it's messy and steams. Almost feel like a garage. So we should be ready like yesterday, right? All done. <laughs> <laughs> I should get my caterpillar into the hangar and away we go. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that sneak peek at the room system in the asteroid hangar and we'll catch you next week at Inside Cloud Imperium Games. <laughs>